Sonic Boom is a computer animated television series, produced by Sega of America, Inc. and Technicolor Animation Productions in collaboration with Lagardère Thématiques and Yoines TV, respectively for Cartoon Network, Canal J, and Ghoulie. Based on the video game franchise Sonic the Hedgehog created by Sega, the series is the fifth animated television series based on the franchise, and the first to be produced in computer-generated animation and in high definition. The series premiered in November 2014. The series is a part of the Sonic Boom spin-off franchise, which also consists of three video games, Rise of Lyric, Shattered Crystal and Fire and Ice, a comic series by Archie Comics, and a toylin by Tomy. Topic. Plot Sonic, Tails, Amy, Knuckles, and Styx reside on Seaside Island in Hedgehog Village, formerly unnamed Village. Together, they defend the island from various threats like Dr. Eggman and his robotic creations. Topic. Episodes Topic Characters Topic Main Sega confirmed various cast and characters for Sonic Boom on February twenty fifth, twenty fourteen. On May 29, 2014, Sega announced that Nika Futterman will play the role of Styx, a jungle badger, who joined the franchise as a major character. Several new characters were also created for Sonic Boom, such as Mayor Fink, Fastidious Beaver, and Percy. Jack Fletcher works as the show's voice director, a role he has also held for the video game series since 2010. Sonic the Hedgehog, voiced by Roger Craig Smith, the hero's leader of the series, a 15-year-old blue hedgehog with super speed. Sonic has good intentions and is heroic, but can be short-sighted of others' feelings and impatient. He also enjoys the benefits of being a hero and dislikes competition. Unlike most incarnations, the Sonic Boom version of Sonic has blue furred arms and wears a brown neckerchief around his neck and athletic sports tape on his wrists and shoes. Miles. Tails. Prower, voiced by Colleen Villard, an eight-year-old two-tailed yellow fox who is Sonic's sidekick. He sports goggles and a tool belt, and serves as the group's mechanic and technology expert. Tails' inventions do not always work out as intended, though he's highly confident in his abilities. He maintains the same personality overall, though he can be blunter and more openly skeptical. Knuckles the Echidna, voiced by Travis Willingham, a 16-year-old red echidna and the muscle of Team Sonic, whose redesign for Sonic Boom is the most drastic of any Sega character altered for the series. Knuckles is considerably taller than most versions of the character, appears more muscular, and wears sports tape around his hands as opposed to spiked boxing gloves. Whereas other versions of Knuckles have a history of being gullible, Boom Knuckles is clueless and often annoys his teammates. Amy Rose, voiced by Cindy Robinson, a 12-year-old pink female hedgehog who is the peppiest member of the group. Amy wields a giant hammer in battle. 
as in other series, Amy has a crush on Sonic, but seems to be more cautious about it than other versions of herself. Eggman has referred to her and Sonic as if they were a married couple, and to her as Sonic's girlfriend. She is the more emotionally mature member of the group, offering common sense when the rest of the team gets carried away. Sticks the Badger voiced by Nika Futterman a badger skilled in the use of boomerangs that comes from the jungle. Styx is a paranoid individual of wild habits, who enjoys digging through garbage and looking at shiny objects. While she may at times seem insane, her madness does occasionally stray into genius, allowing her to find solutions that no one else could have thought of. Dr. Eggman voiced by Mike Pollock, a mad scientist who is the constant nemesis of Team Sonic and the inhabitants of Bygone Island, residing in a lair off the island's coast. In this series, Eggman is typically portrayed as being rather buffoonish, with his schemes usually being considered annoying rather than threatening. At times, he even appears to be on friendly terms with the heroes, though this usually leads to some scheme in which he tries to defeat them. His ambitions are to conquer the island in order to build his own theme park. Orbot voiced by Kirk Thornton, Eggman's red orb-shaped robot henchman. He is the blunter, more formal of the two, often being totally honest even at Eggman's expense. Cubot voiced by Wally Wingard, Eggman's yellow cube-shaped robot henchman. He is the slower, more dim-witted of the two, often misunderstanding the meaning of other characters' statements. Topic recurring Belinda voiced by Colleen Villard a goat and resident of Hedgehog Village who is Charlie's wife. When Charlie turns to villainy, she encourages her husband and in turn begins expressing villainous tendencies of her own. Beth voiced by Colleen Villard a sweet shrew who will look up to anyone for any of their positive traits. She also felt sorry for Eggman when he transformed into a creature by getting angry. Charlie voiced by Kirk Thornton a desert rat and an archaeologist living in Hedgehog Village. Knuckles briefly tries to assist him to make up for a past misdeed, but his frustration at Knuckles' incompetence, which eventually causes him to lose yet another job, drives him to become a villain, equipping himself with an ancient exo-suit. In It Takes a Village to Defeat a Hedgehog, Charlie is among the villains recruited by Dr. Eggman to join Team Eggman. Comedy Chimp voiced by Bill Freiberger, a common chimpanzee resident of Hedgehog Village who hosts his own late-night talk show with his co-host Wolf Sidekick. DFEKT voiced by Wally Wingard, a former Eggman robot capable of manipulating objects using eco-magnets. After becoming overloaded with power and losing control, DFEKT was given to Team Sonic, who reprogrammed him as an ally. DFEKT first appeared in Sonic Boom, Fire and Ice before appearing during the series' second season. Dixon voiced by Wally Wingard, a ferret and media producer. He frequently uses shady tactics in order to drive up ratings. Mayor E. Pluribus Fink voiced by Mike Pollock, impersonating Ed Wynn, a mouse who is the mayor of Hedgehog Village. He often prioritizes maintaining his own political position above all else. Fastidious Beaver, voiced by Mike Pollock, a beaver and resident of Hedgehog Village who works as the librarian. 
He has a tendency to correct other characters' grammar and frequently begins his sentences by saying actually. The Gogobas, a tribe of chinchillas who live in Gogoba village on Bygone Island. They make up for their small size with devious manipulation through kindness and guilt trips. Chief Gogoba, voiced by Wally Wingert, the leader of the Gogobas. Young Gogoba, voiced by Roger Craig Smith, elderly Gogoba, voiced by Cindy Robinson, Lady Walrus, voiced by Bill Freiberger, a walrus living in Hedgehog Village. She has two sons, Stratford and Chumley, with a running gag involving the infant Chumley constantly being put into danger as a result of Dr. Eggman's attacks. Leroy the Turtle, voiced by Kirk Thornton, a turtle who serves as a postal worker and mail carrier for Bygone Island. The Lightning Bolt Society, a secret society of villains made up of small-time crooks, though they are largely considered incompetent and harmless by the villagers and Dr. Eggman. In It Takes a Village to Defeat a Hedgehog, the Lightning Bolt Society is among the villains recruited by Dr. Eggman to join Team Eggman. Willie Walrus, voiced by Wally Wingert, a walrus who is the leader of the Lightning Bolt Society. Dave the Intern, voiced by Roger Craig Smith, a nutria and employee at the Meb Burger fast food restaurant in the village center. He is Eggman's biggest fan and was briefly taken on as the doctor's intern, but was later fired after he proved too ambitious. Dave later appeared as a founding member of the Lightning Bolt Society. In Next Top Villain, it is revealed that Dave's mother is also evil and pressures Dave to be a better villain. Weasel Bandits, as their name implies, a group of three weasel bandits. Sometimes, only one of them is present among the Lightning Bolt Society. The Chameleon, voiced by Kirk Thornton, a gray wolf dressed as a tree who serves as the Lightning Bolt Society's spy and talent scout. Metal Sonic, a robotic doppelganger of Sonic created by Eggman. Mighton and Bolts, voiced by Wally Wingert and Mike Pollock respectively, heroic alien robots from Roboken. Mighton is the main hero of Roboken. Bolts is Mighton's sidekick and a main hero of Roboken. Morpho, voiced by Roger Craig Smith, a shapeshifting robot built by an alternate dimension Eggman. After his own dimension is destroyed, he migrates to the Sonic Boom dimension and pledges allegiance to Eggman. He most frequently appears in the guise of Eggman's fictional brother, Steve Eggman. Percy, voiced by Cindy Robinson, a bandicoot who lives in Hedgehog Village with her twin sister Stacy. In Rise of Lyric, she is depicted as the latest in a long line of the island's protectors. Salty, voiced by Kirk Thornton, a hippo who works as a bouncer. In Rise of Lyric, he acts as a sea captain and has a strong rivalry with his twin brother Pepper. Shadow the Hedgehog, voiced by Kirk Thornton, a tyrant black hedgehog capable of super speed and teleportation. Idolized by Dr. Eggman for his popularity within the series, he is much more aggressive and vengeful than other incarnations of the character, considering friendship a sign of weakness and determined to defeat both Sonic and Eggman at all costs. In the TV series, Shadow has extended red markers on both his shoes and gloves and has cow-licked quills like Sonic. 
Soar the Eagle, voiced by Travis Willingham, a Blue Eagle and local newscaster on Bygone Island, who also hosts seminars as a motivational speaker and life coach. T. W. Barker, voiced by Kirk Thornton, a gray wolf who acts as the ringmaster at T. W. Barker's Circus of Wonders, where its performers are actually his slaves. In Don't Judge Me, T. W. Barker worked as Dr. Eggman's lawyer when it came to suing Sonic for the injuries that were afflicted onto Dr. Eggman. In It Takes a Village to Defeat a Hedgehog, T. W. Barker is among those who were invited by Dr. Eggman to join Team Eggman. Stunt Bears, a trained brown bear and gray bear duo that serve as T. W. Barker's loyal henchmen, stunt performers, and circus performers. In it takes a village to defeat a hedgehog. The stunt bears are among those who were invited by Dr. Eggman to join Team Eggman. Mrs. Vandersnout, voiced by Colleen O'Shaughnessy, an elderly wolf living in Hedgehog Village. Despite her seemingly innocent appearance, she has repeatedly demonstrated dishonest and immoral behavior such as scamming the team out of their money and suggesting Sonic be poisoned. Vector the Crocodile voiced by Keith Silverstein, a private detective and reality TV star. Like the other game characters, he has been redesigned for the series, now sporting an arm tattoo and a leather jacket in place of his traditional headphones. Zoe voiced by Colleen O'Shaughnessy, a fox living in Hedgehog Village, whom Tails has a crush on. Topic. Production. The animated series was first announced on October 2, 2013, revealing a teaser image featuring Sonic the Hedgehog, Miles, Tails, Prower, Knuckles the Echidna and Amy Rose, in silhouette form. The series, which consists of 52 11-minute episodes, was developed by Evan Bailey, Donna Friedman Mayer, and Sandrine Nguyen, with Bailey and Bill Freiberger as showrunners, under the supervision of Sonic Team head Takashi Azuka. On February 6, 2014, Sega revealed the first trailer for the series, showcasing the new designs for the characters. The series features returning voice actors from the video game series, including Roger Craig Smith as Sonic, Travis Willingham as Knuckles, Cindy Robinson as Amy, Mike Pollock as Dr. Eggman, Kirk Thornton as both Orbot and Shadow, and Wally Wingard as Q. Cubot respectively, while voice actress Colleen Villard succeeds Kate Higgins in the role of Tails. The series also introduces a new character named Styx the Badger, a somewhat delusional hunter who has been living alone in the wilderness for many years before meeting Sonic and his friends, who is voiced by Nika Futterman. In an interview with Polygon, Azuka stated the series came about as a desire to appeal more to Western territories. Following the 2003 Japanese anime series, Sonic X, with Azuka also stating that the franchise will run in parallel with the modern series of Sonic games. Bailey stated that the series would be a mixture of action and comedy, featuring an episodic structure. On October 4, 2014, Sega announced the air date of the series in the United States to be November 8, 2014 on Cartoon Network. On February 19, 2015, 
Cartoon Network announced in a press statement that Sonic Boom, along with ten other shows, will return for the 2015–2016 TV season. This was subsequently confirmed by executive producer Bill Freiberger in a fan commentary to not be an indicator of a renewal or second season at this time. However, on October 10, 2015, Lagardère Entertainment Rights announced a second season which premiered on October 29, 2016. It was announced on November 10, 2016, that the remainder of Season 2 will air on Boomerang while Cartoon Network airs reruns of the series. Season 1 of Sonic Boom was released in Japan as a Netflix exclusive on July 1, 2017, under the title Sonic Toon. Sonicato and Topic. Broadcast Sonic Boom made its international debut on Cartoon Network in Australia and New Zealand on April 4, 2015. In the United Kingdom and Ireland, the series premiered on Boomerang on June 1, 2015 and premiered on Pop on 25 August 2018. The series is also airing on Cartoon Network in Singapore and Malaysia, on Cartoon Network in India as Sonic Boom Damal Aur Doom, and on Octo in Singapore. It also aired on Boomerang in the United States from October 8, 2015 to November 12, 2017. The series premiered on Family CHRGD in Canada on October 24, 2015. It has also been acquired by the English language feed of Cartoon Network in Africa as well as the English and Arabic language feeds in the Middle East. Topic: Home Media A DVD release of the first 13 episodes titled, Season 1 Volume 1 The Sidekick, was released in the UK on February 8, 2016, by Universal Pictures Home Entertainment. A second DVD of the next 13 episodes titled, Season 1 Volume 2 Hedgehog Day was also released by Universal in the UK on May 30th. A third DVD release of the third 13 episodes titled, Season 1 Volume 3 Mayor Knuckles, was released in the UK on July 25th by Universal. A fourth DVD release of the last 13 episodes of Season 1 titled, Season 1 Volume 4 No Robots Allowed was released in the UK on October 10 by Universal. The first two volumes were released in Brazil in 2017. A DVD containing eight select episodes titled Sonic Boom, Here Comes the Boom was released in the U.S. by N-Circle Entertainment on March 12, 2019. It will include eight episodes. The Sidekick Cowbot Double Doomsday The Curse of Buddy Buddy Temple The Meteor The Sleeping Giant Just a Guy my Fair Sticks Another DVD titled Sonic Boom, Go Team Sonic, was released in the U.S. on May 21, 2019. It will include the eight Sonic-powered episodes. Let's Play Musical Friends Translate This Designated Heroes Fuzzy Puppy Buddies 
How to succeed in evil without really trying. Blue with envy. Bro down showdown. Counterproductive. Bonus episode. If you build it, they will race on May 22, 2016. The entire first season was made available to stream on Hulu in the United States, under a deal with Sega and Technicolor Animation Productions. The series was later made available for streaming on Netflix outside of the U.S. as of December 23, 2016. The second season of the show was added to Hulu on November 19, 2017. Topic. Reception Emily Ashby of Common Sense Media said that it was somewhat violent for children but that some viewers can have fun watching it. Patrick Lee of the AV Club called it the first great Sonic cartoon in over 20 years, finding the updated cast of characters to be a good fit for a hangout show. In a scene of the Eggman's Anti-Gravity Ray episode, Amy boasts about proving that a woman can be just as good of an athlete as a man, prompting Knuckles to tell her that when someone calls attention to the breaking of gender roles, it undermines the concept of gender equality by implying an exception rather than a status quo." Knuckles then proclaims himself to be a feminist. Charles Hall of Polygon praised this scene as having a progressive message for children. <laughs> <laughs> Awards and nominations Topic. In other media Topic Video games A pair of video games that serve as a prequel for the series were released for the Wii U and Nintendo 3DS systems in November 2014. The Wii U version, Sonic Boom, Rise of Lyric, was developed by Big Red Button Entertainment, and the 3DS version, Sonic Boom, Shattered Crystal, by Sanzaru Games. The games were announced alongside the TV series' first trailer on February 6, 2014 and serve as prequels to the series. Rise of Lyric sees players alternate control between Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, and Amy. The game utilizes each of their abilities, Sonic's speed, Tails' flight, Knuckles' strength, and Amy's agility, allowing two players to play cooperatively and four players competitively. Shattered Crystal lets players control Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, and Sticks and places more emphasis on platforming and puzzle solving than the more adventure-oriented Rise of Lyric. On June 20, 2014, it was confirmed that both games would be released on December 18 in Japan under the name of Sonic Toon. A third game, Fire and Ice, was for Nintendo 3DS in September 2016. Sonic 2, Sonic Boom, a follow-up to the free-to-play Sonic Dash, was released on Android devices on July 1, 2015. Since her debut in the show, the character Styx has gone on to be featured in Sonic titles that are not part of the Boom brand, such as Sonic Runners and Mario and Sonic at the Rio 2016 Olympic Games. Topic. Books 
In early 2016, a series of children's books adapted from several Sonic Boom episodes were released in France by Hachette under the Bibliothèque Vert collection. Topic: <laughs> Comics. <laughs> <laughs> A comic based on the new franchise by Archie Comics was released beginning in October 2014, with Ian Flynn as the writer and Evan Stanley as the artist, similar to Archie's long-running Sonic the Hedgehog comic series. Several issues were also written by TV series showrunner Bill Freiberger. Jesse Sheedon of IGN rated the first issue of the comic a 7.2 out of 10. He commended Flynn for not having relied on trendy, modern humor or dialogue in the comic's presentation, and also appreciated the fourth wall humor and clean, expressive art style. Sheedon did, however, find the plot fairly disjointed and possessing little coherent structure, and he criticized Styx, whom he considered a needless exposition device. The Sonic Boom comics were featured alongside Archie's Sonic the Hedgehog, Sonic Universe, and Mega Man comics, as well as various other Sega and Capcom video game series as part of the 2015 Sonic Mega Man crossover. Worlds Unite! with issues number 8 number 10 forming parts 2, 6, and 10 of the story. The series concluded with its 11th issue in September 2015, though stories featuring the characters continued to be printed as part of the Sonic Super Digest and Sonic Super Special magazine books. Flynn and Stanley later began writing for the television series during its second season. Topic. See also List of Sonic the Hedgehog features